The veteran foreign correspondent Marie Colvin has been killed in Syria. Originally from New York, she reported for the Sunday Times and was killed when her house in the city of Homs was shelled. She and French photographer Remy Oshlik reportedly tried to escape but were then hit by a rocket. Colvin won numerous press awards and had covered conflicts in Yugoslavia, Iran and Sri Lanka, among others. Here's what the Prime Minister, David Cameron, had to say in tribute. The talented and respected foreign correspondent of the Sunday Times, Marie Colvin, has been killed from the bombing in Syria. This is a desperately sad reminder of the risks that journalists take to inform the world of what is happening and the dreadful events in Syria, and our thoughts should be with her family and with her friends. To get a perspective on Marie Colvin's work, Alice Lanyardo spoke to her colleague Anthony Lloyd of The Times. There was something about Marie, even though she'd been wounded already in war, that she had the aura of someone who was going to survive and um, always come out somehow on top. Perhaps we should have known better, but it was a tremendous shock, and not just speaking individually here, but for what's a relatively small tribe of sort of the foreign correspondent community it's a real solar plexus punch and um, it feels like we've lost our champion which in many ways we have could i ask you a little bit about the work she did in russia in chechnya i know she was incredibly brave covering the conflict there yes as i recall i mean this is the second chechen war that was the time i knew marie was going in she went in she worked with the rebels um I remember just before she left, her car was blown to pieces in in an airstrike during which she and the group of rebels that she was with were strafed. And at the end of quite a long assignment there, she had to make her escape uh, across the mountains into Georgia, I think is her way of leaving. For many people, that would have been a one-off terrifying experience on an assignment. For Marie, her style of reporting in Chechnya and the things that happened to her there were fairly typical of her assignments abroad because she was a person whose courage was exemplary and she would always go that extra mile to speak to people in war and as a result frequently expose herself to danger. As I understand it though as well she was quite careful about risks not someone who took risks for the sake of it. She certainly wasn't someone who took risks for the sake of it. She wasn't what we call a stunt journalist. She took risks that were geared to her belief of the critical importance of journalists speaking to people directly who lived under the shadow of the gun. So the kind of risk she took, though certainly a lot greater (coughs) than risks many journalists would take, were geared to that aim and her perception of of what should be done in reporting. That was Anthony Lloyd talking to Alice Lanyardo about Marie Colvin, one of the foreign correspondents killed in Syria.